on the top part of this ball joint there's a there's a secret it has two little eyes on it and normally you stick a like a, a snap ring pliers in and you spread it out and you pull this clip off but for removing them about the way I like to do it I just I just grab a screwdriver go in there like that and just pop the sucker off like this you see how fast that is boom it's off see that's how I get those off but you could these are the holes you if you have the right tool which I do I was just too lazy to go inside and get it but you stick your your snap ring pliers in spread it out and then pull it off first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this grease fitting pressing at so I don't want that to be in my way one thing I like to do is kind of kind of get some crap out of the groove there just just a little bit nothing nothing fancy but there's a lot of crap in this thing Just a quick, quick wipe down. If you got a wire brush, you may wire brush it or throw a little WD on there. And okay, so in order to press this out, uh, you got to find something that this thing can, the bottom of this part can fit through. You see there's like a hole there and just you got to find something that'll go over everything and rest up against the bottom side of the metal I mean there's a whole bunch of different adapters and there may be more than one that'll work uh, just figure out whatever works for you now this thing fits in there like that and essentially the way I'm going to do it um, may not be the right way there may be other ways but this is the way I'm doing it. This fitting here, this little ring will sit in this ring. And basically I'm going to drive this down and push it out of that thing. And this will push, this, this screw will screw down on top of this part and pop it out. Hopefully, at least that's what I'm planning. So I'm going to try to get this set up. It takes a little while. Let me see. So you get that lined up. And it's in. Screw this down. Nice and tight. So I'm just going to stick my, uh, this is 7 8 or 22 millimeter, and just start tightening, cranking this thing down. And this will, this fits over the bot on the underside. This pushes it down, so this should pop out and fall into there, hopefully. At least that's how it's supposed to work. That's my seven eighths. Yep. So now make sure that's on there. I'm gonna have to use a breaker bar. This is it's handy to have an impact when you're doing this because really you gotta put some muscle behind this sucker. Nice to have you know to use an impact. We scored a little, a little more WD in there.
maybe give it a tap. There it went. Boom. See that? Pop free. You guys hear that? Now it should go easy. Let's see, you can see it pushing it. I'll just give it a tap. Kind of loosens it up a little bit. It's going. I'll give it a, just give it a A whole lot easier with an impact. She's out. That's how you do it. As you can see, she's out of there. That one's super bad. That's a really bad ball joint. Really bad. <laughs>